watch the official peak week check-in go down and man like what's on my mind right now is the massive massive improvement from last year just looking back at last year's check-in photos it's like damn i would say i'm about 23 24 pounds heavier from last year uh, this exact week so that is mind-blowing but just sent my check-in over to alex waiting on that but uh with that being said man i'm going to cook up these oats and enjoy them like i might not be having them for a minute but uh welcome to the vlog guys for the fun really begins Peak week, man. The beloved, the infamous, the exciting peak week. So, this is the time in prep, the, you know, seven days leading up to the show where it's really easy to get in your head. It's really easy to overthink things. It's also really easy to be excited. You know, some people are confident, some people are down here. You know, your mind can be everywhere right now. So, this video, I thought it'd be really dope to give you five tips, five musts, five, you know, mentality hacks that you have to have peak week. You need to have these peak week. And some of these things are things you probably haven't heard before. So make sure you stick through, watch to the end. But what I need you guys to do right now, before we go any further, pause it if you need to. Drop a like down below, give me a comment, Comment a fire emoji, anything, man. And uh, hit the sub button if you haven't already. If you already hit the sub button, make sure you turn on the post notifications so you don't ever miss a video. We are in for an arm day. We are currently eight days out. So tomorrow is technically the beginning of peak week. But, uh, hey man, pre is drank, cardio is smashed. It's time to get a nasty low pump. So the first tip I have for you to make a successful peak week is real simple. Follow your peak week plan. Peak week is not the time to do what you want. It is not the time to do what's convenient. Um, you know, it's kind of a time where you need to just set your feelings aside. You're probably going to be doing shit you don't want to do. It's not the time to eat five extra grams of rice. It's not the time to quit on your cardio. It's not the time to, you know, only drink a gallon and a half water when you have two gallons on the plant. Peak week has a lot of variables, a lot of components that are reliant on each other. Um, you know, designed to make you look your best on stage. So, to not follow your peak week plan is to leave, you know, make a lot of the work, a lot of the preparation you did throughout your 16 plus week prep not as effective as it could be. So, that's the first thing. Follow that damn plan.
like a bitch. That's a very last scene. sodium on this day really gonna bring my best package um, is my posing good enough man like trust in the work that you put in over the months um, at the end of the day worrying about the shit that you can't control the what ifs the things that you might have not executed to your best during prep that are in the past they're gonna do nothing but feed into the anxiety and uncertainty that you have that was a big thing I struggled with last year man if you let it your insecurities, your unconfident, the things that you're unconfident in can eat you alive during peak week. If there's any time to be calm, it's during peak week. Just have confidence in the work you have put in, have confidence in the plan that your coach has set in place, goes back to number one, and just do the work, man. You'll notice a reoccurring theme is just leave your feelings out of it. And that definitely includes overthinking. with this pump it hurts it hurts bro goodness fucking gracious bro i thought you weren't supposed to be able to get a pump during peak week i don't know what happened to me i'm doing something wrong i guess don't listen to none of these tips <laughs> niggas don't know the word excuse me around this motherfucker that was gonna be a, a Devin and hector moment but i guess it's on camera now i got 15s boys don't want to be humbled these are killer 
I just started implementing these maybe like three sessions ago, and dude, like the, the stimulus, the feeling, the mind muscle connection, I, that's such an overused term, but like drop your ego, pick up some 15s, some 10s, you'll see me drop the weight and just do body weight, man. All right, so the third must I got for you guys during peak week is practice your posing. Here's the thing. Not too much. So this is a big, big, big one for me. I practice just enough until I get it right. So after a training session, what it typically looks like is I will go in there, I will do three rounds. I'll do three rounds of holding each of my front poses, and then I'll do three rounds of holding my back pose. I'll also set my camera up to where I can't see the front of the screen, so I use the back camera. I won't look in the mirror, and I'll do maybe, you know, two, three go rounds of like I'm on stage. That's what I'm envisioning. After that, man, if it looks good, I'm out the gym. I don't want to allow myself to start feeling different things um, and, you know, start to pick up habits that might have not been there if I would have just stopped and been confident in what I just watched on the video that I just did. So that's a big one. And if you're somebody that's like me, you know, you overthink or, you know, you start to like, just get in your head, like like I said, you don't want to do them quickly. Implement that, man. Practice your posing, but just enough. Right, so I was walking away thinking about what I just said. That only applies once you're at a point of confidence with your posing. If there's still major things you need to work on, major points of improvement, obviously work on those. It's once you like you know, okay, I've progressed this much this week. I'm happy with that progression. Anything further beyond this would be regression. So just kind of, you know, you have to have that honesty and that, you know, uh, experience level to be able to depict that for yourself. planned at all. All right, um, so fifth and final one I got for you guys. And it might sound corny, but it's like, it's important. And you'll, you'll realize this just as, you know, you gain experience, man. Truly enjoy the peaking process. Truly enjoy the whole prep, but really enjoy the peaking process, man. Like, you get to do this. You signed up for this. Um, <laughs> it'll be crazy, you'll look, It'll be a week after your show, you'll look back and you'll be like, damn, like that shit's over, man. It, you know, it was tough, it was challenging for the 16 weeks I did it. That peak week was tough and challenging. I was tired, man. Did a lot of shit I didn't want to do, but like, did I enjoy that shit? Like, really buy into it. Like, enjoy the conversations you have with people. Enjoy uh, engaging on social media. Enjoy the little amount of food you have. Enjoy like your body being depleted and you, the very last thing you want to do is go to the gym, but you gonna fucking go. Like, enjoy that shit. Have, have confidence in the work you're putting in, man. Um, you know, bodybuilding isn't forever, so, you know, as long as it is a part of your life, like, own that shit. Have fun with it. Be really observant of your body, man. Like, flex as much as you can. Like, just, just like, it's crazy when you look at yourself in such a lean state. It's just like, man, like my body is like, it's insane what your body can do when you really push it. And when the variables that need to be manipulated to achieve that level of conditioning to be on stage, when you start fucking with that shit, it's like, damn, man, like I'm really my own little uh, anatomy, biological science experiment, bro. That's, that's really what prep is, especially when you get down to those last few weeks. 
But workout finished, man. We're gonna get into posing. I'm gonna give you guys a look at a quick round. What posing is looking like for me right now. And I would just say, but I was telling Hector on the way up here, man, like, I'm confident in my posing. Never been this confident before. I guess so uh, that concludes today's gym session kind of so I'm gonna let Hector get back to what Hector's do on Thursday evenings um, and then I'm gonna go knock out the remainder of my cardio I got like 30 minutes left on, no an hour left on the stairmaster <laughs> that's horrible played myself talking about 30 minutes um, you know I'll put the headphones in get some Get some YouTube videos rolling, but yeah, guys, eight days out. It is straight up insane how fast time flew, man. But uh, it's peak week. Y'all are in for some very frequent content. And uh, if y'all like this one, man, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Definitely stay tuned for the rest of I don't even know what I'm saying. Uh, If y'all like this, this man tired. <laughs> tired. Front brain done got some. Um, I don't even know like where the good part ended, bro. Uh, shit, we gonna leave this in the video, man. My prep brain. I haven't talked about it a whole lot. Prep brain. It's a real thing. Look it up.